Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, coming to you again from hot, beautiful Macedonia, Tetl. Guys, today's video topic is traveling the world. The mindset. Yes, because before you think about money, before you think about logistics, time, so on and so forth, you have to get your mindset right. This is the crucial point. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I've been traveling the world for five years straight. And you guys ask me, Bobby, how did you do it, man? How did you do it? How did you finance yourself? Guys, if you have the will, you will find a way. That is not the issue, to find a way to finance yourself. First comes the mindset. Therefore, if you're interested in this type of video, I will do a series, a step-by-step -step guide on how to travel the world. But today, episode one, we're starting with the mindset. Before I dive any deeper, guys, just a quick public service announcement. If you like the content, if you like to support Bobby's perspective, all you have to do is click on our Amazon link. Through that link, you end up on Amazon and you can buy whatever you want to buy. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You just get onto Amazon, buy what you desire, and Bobby's Perspective gets a small cut, a small commission. That's all. It's a great way to support Bobby's Perspective with no extra cost. Now, back to the video. Guys, first comes the mindset. When I started traveling the world, when I left Germany back in the day, I was living in Germany and I was miserable. I had nothing to lose anymore. If you've been following this channel, man, I was severely sick. I was drug dealing, all kinds of issues, all kinds of problems in my daily life. So therefore, that was a blessing in disguise because I wasn't comfortable. And that is key here. When you are too comfortable, you won't change shit. It's that simple, guys. If you're comfortable, you won't change your current situation. Why would you? It is human nature. As long as you are comfortable in your surroundings, why would you travel? So many people tell me, oh, Bobby, that looks amazing. Malaysia, Vietnam, South America, Australia, New Zealand, and whatnot. I want to do that too. But do you really? Do you really want to do that? Guys, when I got to Australia, that was my first destination. I went over there with a backpack and 300 euros. That's it. I had nothing else with me and I didn't book anything. I was so naive back in the days. Man, all I knew back in the day was Macedonia and Germany. That's it. I didn't travel at all. And then when I made the decision to travel the world, I left everything behind. I didn't know what a hostel is. Can you imagine that? My first day in Australia, I came out at the airport, was looking around and I thought I'm in the wrong country. Everybody was Asian and was civilized. I was so stupid, so naive back in the day. I was expecting the outback. Somehow I thought I'm gonna open up the doors of the airport and I'm gonna see the outback. That's it, kangaroos and psychedelic medicines in the bush. That's what I was expecting. I was stupid, silly. All I had was my 30 kilo backpack and I ended up on the streets. Nothing more, nothing less. Really, I was a bum for the first day. I thought I would sleep on the street until I tried to communicate with my broken English and figure out where I could sleep. I asked for hotel rooms. Yeah, $200 per night. I couldn't afford it, man. I was asking around, begging, until I found a solution. A hostel in the middle of nowhere, King's Cross, dirty, dodgy, cockroaches in my bed. It was horrific, but I appreciated it. I loved it. I said, this is the adventure that I was looking for. I didn't go for comfort. I didn't travel for comfort. I didn't leave my old situation to find comfort. I was seeking adventure. I was seeking novelty. I was seeking the moment. I wanted to see what the world has to offer. Do you understand this? I met many people traveling. Some people come for holidays. Everything is organized. Some people come for a short backpack experience. And that is cool too. But many people that say they want to travel the world, they don't really want to. I went to Australia with nothing. 
in that hostel, I was asking around what to do, how to find a job. And I started working on construction sites 10 days later. From there on, I was saving money. I was doing overtime. I was working 12, 14 hour shifts, man. Everything that I did, I deserved. I can give myself that much credit. I earned my money down there. Simultaneously, I started working on YouTube. Simultaneously, I started working online. But I was hustling hard every single day. I was sleeping at the hostel, eating cheap and working my ass off. That's it. Because my mindset was that there is no way home. I saw other people from Germany down there and they got stuck in the same old pattern. They spoke German to each other and they didn't make a change. Guys, when I arrived in Australia, I changed my phone to English and I pretended to not be able to speak German. I said, I'm from Macedonia. That's it. I'm not speaking any German. That's it. Never been to Germany, right? In order to not fall into the same trap of that old mindset. You cannot change anything in the external if your mindset is the same. This is why I make this video. Your mindset has to change. Your reality internally has to change and then the external will change. The guys that stuck in their old mindset, they went back to Germany. After a couple of months, I saw it happen many, many times. Not only German dudes, French dudes, English, Dutch and whatnot. They all went back home. They came for a quick experience, lost their money, gained some money and left because they were in the same old mindset. Guys, I came from a place where I had nothing to lose anymore. You could say, ah, come on, man, you're exaggerating. Why didn't you just get a job in Germany and started having a normal life down there? And let's be honest, that option was there, of course. I could take a shitty job and just stay in Germany. Do that. You don't have to be a drug dealer, right? Why would you? Just get an honest job. But guys, at that time, I hated everything about that environment. Everything. And let me tell you one more thing. The environment is not wrong. The environment is what it is. It is about you. If you like the environment or not. If not, stop hating on the environment. You have no idea how many people I knew that were talking shit about Germany, shit about the city that we were living in. All kinds of negative energy directed towards that scenario, towards that location. And they didn't change shit because all their energy went into complaining. Me, on the other hand, I had to realize the environment is not at fault. The environment is what it is. If you do not vibe with that environment, that is great. It is just like a flower that cannot blossom in a certain environment. Hey, maybe you are a cacti, right? You do not belong in Antarctis. You do not belong in a cold environment. And this is how I felt all the time. I hated the cold. I always hated the cold before being vegan as well. I couldn't stand it. And therefore for me it was crystal clear that I had to go to a scenario where I will have the beaches, where I will have the sun. That was crucial, man. So therefore guys, it is all about the mindset. It is all about your vision. It is all about your perspective. You have to bring yourself into a scenario where you cannot accept your current status. You can't take it any longer. It's too much. That's how I felt. This is why I left. And every single time, every moment that I felt pressure, that I felt alone, that I felt I'm doing the wrong thing, I said to myself, there is no way back. There is no way back. There's only forward. There's only further. Nothing more. There is no going back. I had to tell that to myself when I was working night shifts, overtime, 14 hours per day, jackhammering like an asshole. I said to myself, fuck it, man. You gave up your comfort. Now you're here. Now you're here in the moment and you're going to bang it out. You're going to do whatever it takes. You're going to progress in life. You're going to go further. New Zealand, Thailand, South America, all of those places I visited and I made my way through. I will make a follow-up video where I will talk about how much money you need, how to do this, how to do that. But guys, when I went over to Australia, I had no idea how much money I will make or how much money I need. I went over with 300 euros and I said, I'm gonna fucking make it, no matter what. 
If I have to fast one day, I will. If I have to work 24 hours, I will. If I have to sleep on the street, I will. This is what it takes. People think, oh, it's so amazing. You just go and travel. We are all vlogging now. Yeah, guys, amazing times, right? So much fun, cool. Digital entrepreneurs, digital nomads. Fuck all that shit, man. When I went over there, I didn't even know what YouTube was. I had no smartphone. I went over to Australia with a fucking shit phone. I had no Instagram, no Facebook, no YouTube, nothing. Went over there and built myself up from scratch. That was the challenge and I fucking did it. Simple. It is all about your mindset, guys. <sighs> Again, why do I do this video? I do this video because people reach out to me. They connect to me all the time. And they ask me, hey, do you know a good place to stay in Australia? Hey, do you know where to find a job in Australia? That is all fine and dandy. It is about your balls in the end. It is about you really wanting it. Otherwise, it will be an extended holiday. That's it. You have to take your key, so to speak, and throw it away. There is no home anymore. If you really want to be a world traveler, a backpacker, there is no home anymore. You threw away your key. You lost your privilege. That's it. There is no home. You're a bum now. This is the mindset that you have to have. If you truly want to quit your job, leave your home. Guys, I sold my bike. I sold my flat. All of that shit is gone. And I said to myself, I'm not going to touch that money. That is my investment. I'm renting out a flat for people that want to know. How do you make money? Yes, I'm renting out a flat in Germany. I sold my bike. Yes, I did. I'm not touching that money. That was an investment. I put it aside. That's not money that I touch. I said to myself, here, this is it, the 300 euros. I'm getting over to Australia. I'm going to work now. That's it. I'm not going to waste my savings. That is not how you start a new life, by wasting savings. If you waste your savings, that's an extended holiday. Ask yourself what you want to do. Do you want to have an extended holiday or do you want to live day by day in different countries? That's what you have to ask yourself. And then we can get into it. How to start a YouTube channel, how to start an online business, how to start this and that. I can tell you all about it. No worries. We can make that happen as well. But first get it straight. I'm passionate about this because I cannot hear those questions anymore. It all starts with you. That is the takeaway point. Nothing more, nothing less. The next time when you contemplate and you're like, hmm, maybe I'm going to ask Bobby, ask yourself if you really want it. Ask yourself if you really want it. Ask yourself if you are willing to leave your home, sell your flat, rent out your flat, leave your flat altogether, leave your friends, your family members. There is no mommy. There is no best friend. There is no girlfriend. There's no one. You're alone. Alone. A foreigner in a different country. Do you understand that? That is the mindset that you want to have. No friends. No support system. No backup. No nothing. No money. No food. Everything starts from scratch. Guys, don't let me paint a too negative picture here. Of course, it is a mind-blowing, mind-expanding, positive experience overall. I loved it. If I compare those five years to the rest of my 25 years lived, I can tell you that I never truly lived. Traveling is the single most important experience in my life. Hands down. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Never. This is how I started my YouTube channel. This is how I learned English. This is how I met my girlfriend. This is how I saw so many cultures. Guys, I have friends in every single continent. It is the most valuable experience ever. But you will have to ask yourself if you are ready for it. All right, guys. And this is it for today's rant. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. guys. Consider supporting Bobby's Perspective through our Amazon portal or through Patreon. I have a Fiverr page as well where I offer graphic design, video editing, thumbnail services. If that is something that you need, feel free to contact me. On top of that, I offer meal and workout plan regimens as well. All right, guys. But this is it for today's video. As always, much love and peace.